All right, we're doing another quick one, another European. Quite a few of these on Staten Island. 2008 BMW 750i. And uh, customer complaint is something to do with the traction control system, drivability system. Uh, I'll show you what happens. I can recreate the fault. So we don't even need to start the car. Well, we'll start it anyways. Man, this is fancy. Uh, so, he said in, in right turns, that light comes on with the exclamation point. So, and then when you shut the car off, it resets. So, let's shut it off. It should reset. And start it again. Right front parking lamp malfunction, okay. And what else? I think that's it. But when you turn the steering wheel to the right, set a right turn. Hmm. So that light did not reset. Let's uh, let's shut her down. Actually, got it to got it to happen when the car was off. So let's just. So shut it off completely. I mean, there's no real key. <laughs> Just keep pushing the button. Fasten safety belts. Let's see. Right front parking lamp malfunction. Okay. Press hold the brake. Start the car. Okay. Now it's reset. So you said in a right turn, he's turning right, and. Huh. No issues. Oh, I guess we fixed it. Um, the code that it was setting is a steering angle sensor wiper contact code. Um, and this thing has like a hundred modules, I swear. Like six pages of modules. Um, and the ABS right here <clears throat> the code is steering angle sensor fault. So I was looking for the steering angle in here in the data stream. I could not find it for the life of me. Wheel speed, yaw velocity, brake fluid, pressure, all kinds of good stuff, but I could not find steering angle. So I had to hunt around for it in this huge list of modules. And I actually found it in, let's see here, switch center steering column. <laughs> There's a fault stored in that. Let's see here. Okay. And if we read the data stream, we have our steering angle sensor option. So there's our steering angle. Turning the steering wheel. That's positive. It's negative. You see now it's working. But just, I swear, just a second ago, I had it at 30 degrees and it just went berserk and it set that fault code. <clears throat> so let's shut it off. Turn it back on. Okay, now I was turning it like this. Damn. Can't recreate it. 
should have gotten on camera before. Well, I think that's, that's about it. It's an intermittent fault. He said it's been happening more and more often, so it's definitely a sensor issue. So we'll leave it at that and moving on to the next one. So this is what happens when you turn the camera off. We have exclamation point and look at our steering angle now. Straight ahead position, it's 124 degrees and the fault set when actually applied pressure to the steering wheel and then turned it. So let's see if we can recreate it again. So let's turn it off, turn it off, turn it back on. Okay, so we're reset. Look at our angle. See, reset. That's zero. That's zero. That's good. Now I'm going to apply pressure to the steering wheel and turn it. Come on. Why does it not want to do it for the camera? It's ridiculous. There it is. Nice. Got him. So our angle is way off now. Uh, we could try a sensor recalibration procedure. Believe it or not, the launch can do this. So let's try to find that menu. So ABS special function steering angle learning and we can read all about the steering angle sensor let's perform steering angle sensor adjustment so option two so you need to do it when you replace the steering column or do anything with the steering suspension yes we wish to recalibrate the steering angle Front wheels must be moved exactly in the straight head position. The vehicle can dynamic drive and therefore requires extremely precise steering angle calibration. Straight head position front wheels must therefore be determined on the axle test rig. Is the vehicle on an axle test rig? Well, we're just gonna we're just gonna eyeball it here. Yes. <laughs> Work on axle test rig. The front wheels must be exactly in the straight head position. Steering angle is started in the next step. Okay. Current steering angle is 0 0.088, okay. This module ended in the next step. Sweet. That's it? Easy. All right, great. Um, let's go back to our data stream and see what the angle does. All right, here we go. See, now that value changed to known. And adjustment, steering angle sensor adjusted. Okay, let's try to recreate it. So I'm going to push on the steering wheel and turn it right. There it is. There's the fault. That's the fault. So, needs a new steering angle sensor. No question about it. That was cool. Euro trash. Sometimes it's fun to work on. Wouldn't drive one. <laughs> Alright guys, see you for the next one. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed that episode, Blast from the Past on the Staten Island Express. Uh, I just wanted to give everyone a quick update. Next month, I already planned a trip to Staten Island to visit Keith. The Suzuki XL7 has a brand new clutch and we'll be ready to go. Um, probably in the middle of November. So stay tuned for that and just want to say thank you so much to everyone for watching and your support and plenty more videos to come so stay tuned.